chair now recognizes Mr. Johnson for five minutes for a statement. Thank you, Madam Chair. A central part of the American experience has been uh, our journey toward a more perfect union. It is, of course, important to celebrate the great days and the great places as a part of that journey, but I think it is in many ways even more important to acknowledge uh, the dark days and the dark places. December 29th, 1890 was most assuredly one of those dark days. As has been mentioned on that day, the U.S. Army's 7th Cavalry, uh, while attempting to disarm uh, several hundred uh, mostly uh, unarmed uh, Lakota men, women, and children, uh, massacred more than 350 of them. Now, the United States Army uh, called this the Battle of Wounded Knee. Uh, let us uh, not use polite phrases to ignore the reality. This was no battle. This was a massacre. And 100 years after that dark day, the United States government issued a formal apology, as was entirely appropriate, uh, and, and is a good first step, but in and of itself is, of course, insufficient. The, and, and physical places, uh, land matters. And on the, the site of that massacre, there was a, a trading post under, uh, held under uh, private ownership. And it was, not, uh, it was not a testament. It was not a commemoration of uh, this sacred site and of that dark day. And so in an incredible act of leadership in October of last year, the uh, Oglala Sioux Tribe and the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe came together uh, to secure this 40-acre parcel. And I think now it's altogether appropriate for the federal government to uh, step up in partnership to try to make sure that this sacred site is protected uh, um, in, in the right way and is given the tools, that the tribes are given the tools they need to make sure that it is protected in the right way. Success has uh, many mothers and many fathers, and of course, that is true for this bill as well. Uh, we're going to be honored uh, here in a bit to be able to hear uh, from President Frank Starr's come out, uh, as well as uh, uh, Chairman Ryman LeBeau. Uh, they are descendants of uh, those from Wounded Knee, uh, and they're uh, great tribal leaders. Uh, they and their councils have worked hard to make sure that this site is protected. Now, their predecessors uh, were, had also, also had a hand uh, in this. And so, of course, I want to thank uh, Harold Frazier. Uh, I want to thank uh, Kevin Killer for their incredible efforts. And finally, by way of closing, Madam Chair, we have a tendency to think about uh, dark days like uh, Wounded Knee as uh, in the ancient past, and we focus uh, so much on those who died, those who were killed, those who were murdered that day. But we also have with us today Cedric Brokennose, who is a descendant. Uh, he's representing the descendants, and I think is an important reminder to us that this history wasn't that long ago, and that one of the reasons that it is important for us uh, to honor this site is that there are still real living connections to the difficult, uh, to the terrible uh, actions that were taken that day. Uh, I thank the subcommittee for taking up. And, and uh, Mr. Brokenos, could you just raise your hand? And, and stat, yeah, thank you very much for being here uh, because we won't have an opportunity from here to hear from him uh, later. But uh, Madam Chair, thank you uh, for the subcommittee for this work. And uh, I look forward to hopefully advancing uh, this bill. With that, I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. 